Welcome back to the Unity Terrain Basics series. In the previous two episodes, we have successfully shaped a beautiful landscape. In this video, we are going to paint textures onto this terrain mesh. Let's begin. The built-in terrain tools makes painting textures on terrain meshes so easy. For terrains created using modeling software or procedural generation, if we want to paint textures on a mesh, we often have to worry about UV mapping, which is a complex and exhausting work. Using the built-in terrain tools, on the other hand, we don't need to worry about this issue at all. All we have to do is select a texture and paint. By default, terrain meshes come with a material. If you don't know what a material is, feel free to check out this video that I created earlier, which covers the concept of materials and shaders. On top of the base material, we have layers. Each layer represents one texture. Layers allow us to paint multiple textures onto the same terrain mesh. Let's get into the practical part. First, select a terrain tile. In the Paint Terrain tab, select Paint Texture. If we scroll down, we will see the Material and Layers section. We can leave the material by default. For the Layers part, we will see a Layer Palette. We have three options, Add Layer, Remove Layer, and remove selected. Since we currently have no layers, we can create a new layer. I have imported a few textures. Dirt, grass, and muted stone. Let's first create the grass layer. In the project tab, we will see a new layer file has been created. This is similar to a material. We can apply the same layer to multiple terrain tiles. Currently, the grass layer has been applied to the selected tile. To apply this layer to the adjacent tiles, we first click the layer in the layer palette and paint this layer to the adjacent tiles. This way, the grass layer will be added to all the tiles. Let's now create an outer layer for the muted stone. Again, we choose the muted stone layer from the layer palette and we just brush. We can set the target strength to set the opacity. We will do the same for the dirt texture. Let's have a deeper look at the terrain layer files. Each layer file comes with a set of properties. We have the diffuse, normal map, and mask map. Diffuse is the main texture. Normal map is a map which controls the reflection. Mask map controls the details. Terrain layers also support specular color, metallic, and smoothness properties. The size and offset properties are extremely useful. Take an example of the muted stone texture. It is barely visible from far away. If we zoom in, we will see the texture is actually tiled and repeated.
if we want this texture to be visible from far away, we can increase the size. This way the texture is clearly visible from a far distance. This texture, however, looks odd on this terrain. Let's try to fix this. What I will do is to select a grass layer and cover up the muted stone textures. Then select the muted stone texture and reduce the target strength. Think of it as the opacity. If we paint again, we will see that the muted stone texture will be blended with the base grass texture. Now it looks much more natural. I will further increase the size of the muted stone texture to make it look less tiled. Let's have a deeper look at the layer palette. The layers added into the palette can be reordered, but do notice that when we adjust the order of the layers, it will affect how they are drawn on the terrain mesh. It is a good practice to make sure the layer palette has a consistent order. We may remove multiple layers from the palette at once. We can do this by checking the checkbox for the desired layers and hit Remove Selected. Hit OK and the layers are directly removed from this tile. Do keep in mind that this only applies to one tile. For the adjacent tiles, we need to repeat this process by ourselves. We may also save a layer palette as a file. Hit OK to create a new one. And we can reuse this palette by selecting another tile drag it to the Layer Palette Profile field. Hit OK for the confirm message. Since the original texture is removed, this part is painted blank. We have to manually fix this by painting the base texture. That is an introduction to terrain layers and texture painting. This feature is truly incredible. It saves us tons of effort and time when doing level design. But guess what? There is an even more amazing tool which will do terrain texturing automatically. And I will give an introduction on that in the next video. So stay tuned to the series. I'm Yelvicker. I will see you in the next video. Stay tuned.